Hey, it's Steve. Well, my family and I recently took a trip out to the San Francisco Bay Area. And while we only had a few hours to spend in downtown San Francisco itself, that was enough time to take a ride on the iconic cable cars. So I wanted to show you a ride on one of the cable car lines, plus a little bit on how they work. So San Francisco has three cable car routes, two that go north to south, but do have an east-west jog in them, and then one that only travels east and west. And unlike streetcars or other trolleys, the cable cars have no motors inside of them or other propulsive devices, but instead they move by selectively grabbing onto and releasing a constantly moving cable that runs underneath the street between the rails. And they can also vary how tightly they grip the cable to control their velocity. And all the cables are driven by large motors located at the cable car museum, which is set up right in the middle of all the cable car lines. And everything works kind of like an upside down version of a chairlift at a ski resort. Speed is controlled by how tightly they grip the cable. They can release the cable with the grip but still be attached to it. Or they can fully detach from the cable with their controls inside of the car. And so if they do let go of the, of the tight grip of the cable, the cable will just slide through their grip. Uh, and they can essentially sit there stopped and then tighten up their grip again and move along with the cable once more, or they can fully release the cable in certain spots where they need to. And where the north-south running cars cross the east-west cable car route, they have to do just that. Otherwise, the grip and you know on their cable will basically sever the east-west cable, and so they have to detach and then re reattach to the cable after crossing that east-west cable line. And the same thing is done when they have to switch tracks or they have to turn the cars at the turntables at the end of the route. And all of those areas, uh, the track is actually sloped downhill, so whenever they have to let go of a cable, it's not going to be a problem. They'll actually keep coasting downhill to the next spot where they can grab onto the cable. In some locations, they do have a spot in the road where a tool can be inserted and lift the cable up to reattach itself to the cable car as well. And the turntables at the end of the lines are all manually driven, which is fun to watch. They have to actually get out and push the car around manually on the turntable. But the east-west running cable car is actually bi-directional and so the operator can shift from one side of the car to the other and then they can pretty much just take off in the opposite direction. Anyway, you can now watch a ride along on a cable car that runs from Powell and Market Streets down to Taylor and Bay Streets by Fisherman's Wharf. The other route that goes to Beach and Hyde is a lot more scenic because it's higher up and you can see better views of the bay and, and downtown. But we didn't have a chance to ride on that one. Uh, the, the wait times for all the cable cars were really long. And again, we only had a few hours downtown and had to do a few other things. And so we didn't really have a chance to ride all the different lines. So this is the only one that we were able to ride on. Anyway, enjoy the ride. Now here at California, this is where the north-south line crosses the east-west line. And anyway, the car detaches itself from the cable at this point, coasts across the intersection, and then grabs back onto it on the other side. California.
here at the end of the line there are usually three to four cars stopped uh, and then one car will start off again in the opposite direction once a new car comes off the cable here at the end. And while the operators will jump from one car to the next uh, to operate it, they do periodically get breaks as you would expect and those operators can sometimes apparently use the long benches here in the cars for a nice place to take a nap between their runs. Anyway, I hope you like seeing what a ride on a cable car is like. This was my first time riding one and it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of steep hills in San Francisco which does make the ride a lot more entertaining and so if you are ever in San Francisco I do highly recommend taking a ride on one of these cable car lines. Anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.